You could have a room full of people um, and they're all struggling with something mental health related, but everyone feels alone because no one talks about it. We would like to message, I think, to the rest of the Air Force, Space Force now, DOD as needed, um, the importance of combating the, the stigma of mental health. You know, I'm just in my first year of my own mental health story and experience. You know, before finally going to mental health just this past year, I went to leadership a couple of times and said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what's wrong. I think it might be this, but I don't know. I, I think I need to be seen. And I'm thinking going to mental health, and I just wanted to give you a heads up. You were self-aware enough to go to your leadership and say, like, hey, there's a thing. I wasn't self-aware enough to go and say, hey, I've got this thing, right? It, it took kind of this culminating event. I was uh, kind of blissfully unaware um, of kind of how my brain operated and what I dealt with until I wasn't. When I was in the depths of what I was going through with my mental health story, I reached out to my dad, who is uh, a retired 28-year um, you know, senior master sergeant, and he said, hey, don't go to mental health. I know that you're struggling. I hear you, but don't go. You're going to ruin your life. You're going to ruin everything that you've built for yourself. I knew a guy during Desert Storm. We were turning jets together, and he went to mental health. I never saw him again. When I went to mental health and they said, I understand what it is that you're dealing with, I was like, oh my goodness, cool, it's not just me. Um, other people deal with this too. And when people say, hey, this is gonna impact my career, right? I'm still here. I didn't lose my job, I didn't get kicked out, I didn't get my security clearances pulled, right? Um, and when people say it's going to affect you, I'll say, yes, it will affect you. You're going to be better than you've ever been because by treating these things, you're gonna take hurdles out of the way. Um, and you're gonna be allowed to operate and do things um, better than ever and you're gonna get recognized for it. Well, I think that if we could introduce the idea of, tr of treating mental health the same way that we treat physical health, things would be different. Um, you would never see someone at the doctor's office with an injury and say, what are you doing? Oh, you, you hurt yourself? Uh, like, you don't need to be here. Um, if somebody were hurt and because you can physically see it, you would never tell them to get back to work, continue to do these things because you can see that they're hurt. It's different with mental health, um, but sometimes people still need to take a knee and you need to let them recover and you need to, let, to kind of make them be heard. You know, Dustin compared it to uh, a physical ailment or injury and that's exactly what it is, right? It's, it's harder to see because the organ that controls those things is, you know, more of a mystery than say your your tibia or your wrist, but um, the brain is an organ. It gets hurt just like anything else and needs to you see a, a medical personnel who specializes in that organ to, to get fixed. You're gonna have a better, more effective force when people know that you as a leader have their best interest in mind and you're not only looking at the, after their physical health, but their mental health. I think Dustin has a very uh, compelling story and tells it in a way that um, invites people to listen and to, I hope, uh, follow suit and go get help if they need it. I go to mental health and it's great. That, that sounds cheesy, right? It does. Yeah.